Instead, I took her reputation, her job, her fiance, got her arrested and convicted of a felony and her children taken from her. And the best part is that she has no clue I did it to this very day. Today we are joined by another glamorous guest. You guys might remember Manira from a previous video. She's been here before. She's comfortable. She knows. I'm relaxed. I'm chill. I'm enjoying it. That's what I feel very welcomed here. Oh, we love you on our channel, Manira. So I'm Harbour. I'm Kalton. I'm Manira. <laughs> a bit of energy, darling. Come on, one more time. I'm Manira. Yeah. And today we've got another scenario. This is episode three. Episode three, three. season two. Okay, so. <clears throat> Wait, we need the title. Excuse me, Satan, I think you're in my seat. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Excuse me, Satan, I think you're in my seat. Right, so. I was a weird kid growing up, really weird. It was mostly because I was being abused. Oh, I should probably say TW, trigger warning, warning. abuse. So, I was being abused at home and forcibly isolated. My social skills were so underdeveloped that I had difficulty reading human faces aside from my grandmother, grandfather and father. Okay. Being the weird kid meant the, that I was a juicy target for bullies. It never stopped but there was one bully that I hated more than any of the others. We'll call her Holly. This girl never passed up an opportunity to make my life hell, and since she lived across the street from me, there was nowhere, nowhere I could avoid her. Holly treated me like garbage. Here are a few of the examples. So example number one, she put dog crap in our mailbox on a regular basis. She let my dog out of my yard, and I was never able to get her back. She would- No, stop right there. <laughs> stop right there. Anyone ever, ever touches my pet, that's the last thing Anyone touches my pet, I'm finishing them. Yeah, so she let the dog oh, and the dog, so and the dog yeah, run away. <laughs> anyway, she would also sit on her porch with her friends and roast the hell out of me to entertain them if I so much as put a toe outside of my front door. It went on for years. I hated her with a fiery passion of a thousand sons, all poetic. <laughs> but while my grandmother was still alive, there was nothing I could do about Holly. If I did anything to her or fought back in any way, my grandmother would punish me for it. And I was more afraid of her than I was Holly for a very good reason. Could you talk about this grandmother? Grandma's so she's referenced the beast before, is that yeah, she's family? Well, I'm guessing so, yeah. I don't think she goes, or he goes into detail about the abuse, but... The grandma's probably from the really evil. Yeah, like someone that's Oh, like, bless her. God. Well, so I made a plan. I suffered through all the abuse and I promised myself that when I was older, I would make Holly pay for what she did to me. Thinking of what I was going to do to her when the time was right, right was sometimes the only thing that kept me going. Over time, Holly grew up and eventually she left me alone and stopped being an arsehole. Unfortunately for her, by then it was too late. I didn't give a shit about her new moral epiphany. I had been nursing my grudge for two decades and it was time for a reckoning. I was two going to... Two decades bullied for. Yeah. Well, no, I think it finished when Holly and this person grew up, but okay. they have been harbouring this yeah. like, revenge. Anyway, so she said I was going to destroy that bitch. Okay, so she's okay. he or she's in their twenties now. Yeah, so um, so yeah, they've, they've been sitting on this plan for twenty years, for okay. twenty -ish years. I want to know what the plan is. So, <sighs> when my grandmother finally died, it was a go time. It was go time, and I'd had twenty years to plan. I wasn't idle while I waited. I'd made it my mission in life to learn as much about Holly as possible, and to do it, I became friends with a few people on the periphery of her social circle. Eventually, I knew more about her and her life than her own mother did. Oh, wow, this is this is so um, maniacal. Whatever, <laughs> it's insane. This is a bit intense, you know. Oh gosh. The first step I took in my plan was getting her fired from her job. It took longer than I would have liked, but eventually I managed it. Holly worked at a doctor's office and I knew that the doctor she worked for was super Christian, very straight edge, upstanding type of guy. He also had a huge influence in the local community. I decided to become a patient at his office, scheduling my visits beyond the days Holly was off work. After a couple of visits, I just happened to notice Holly in the staff photo on the waiting room wall. I made a show of looking surprised and then concerned. 
I got to the exam room and the doctor came in shortly after. The expression on my face got his attention and he asked me what was wrong. I love... I'm concentrating on the story. I'm so scared of this woman. Or man, I don't know. <laughs> Carry on. I told him that even though I didn't want to, as a Christian, I couldn't keep my knowledge a secret and still sleep at night because I just couldn't let him endanger his soul and reputation by doing nothing. I had his full attention. And then I asked him, as one fellow Christian to another, not to tell anyone where he got the information I was about to give him. After he promised me he would, he would. I, after he promised me he would, I told him what I knew that Holly was using illegal drugs. He was absolutely flawed, and at first he didn't believe me. I told him that I understood his scepticism entirely, but it was easy enough to prove or disprove my information with a drug test. If I was wrong, he lost nothing. If I was right, he was saving himself from trouble down the road. He finally agreed to test her and he tested everyone else too so it didn't look like Holly was the only target. See, I wasn't actually lying. Holly smoked a shitload of weed and I knew that because it was my dad she used to get it from. He'd been... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? It's getting worse. He'd been her weed dude since she was like 15. Her test came back positive for marijuana and much to my surprise, Xanax. Oh! Oh, <laughs> the person actually said, oopsie, <laughs> oopsie. The doctor fired Holly on the spot and when the results of the urinalysis came back, um, then he, took, he called me to thank me for telling him what was going on. And before he hung up, he told me that I truly walked with the Lord. I don't know, I'm a bit, I'm a bit. The title was, excuse me, sit and you're in my seat. Yeah. So it's a bit ironic. Mm. Y'all will never know how hard I had to fight not to laugh at the depths of his wrongness. I thought I was going to pop a blood vessel. Phase one complete. I know what you're thinking. It's just a job and it's not like she can't go get another one, right? Losing a job isn't the end of the world. You'd be wrong. Remember how I said that her boss had a very high reputation in that area? That man called every single hospital and doctor's office in the state personally to make sure that none of them would hire Holly oh and risk liability and loss of community trust for associating with her. Holly's field of study was all pertaining to the medical profession, so her education would, was rendered worthless because nobody would she hire is her. Finished. That's but evil. I don't know. She goes. He goes. I wasn't done yet. Nope. Not even close. What? There's more. <laughs> There's more. She lost her job, and because she had no income, her car got repossessed. She still had her family, though. Two kids and a fiance. Who needs families? With the help of a good friend of mine, we catfished the f out of her fiance. My my friend is hot as F and she let me use pictures of her to go to, to prove that she was really real. She even got on Skype with him once. He finally made the arrangements for a face-to-face -face encounter and booked a hotel room. I texted the screenshots of everything to Holly from a burner number. To say the excrement impacted the oscillating unit would be a vast understatement. They broke up and while things uh, was an ordeal and Holly was devastated. She had two kids, no job, and now no fiance who could help her keep the family afloat. Oh, this is horrible. I don't know if it withstands the. the I, I mean, I just don't know. There's more. Oh my god. Because you see, the can thing we just is, pause? Because you see, the thing is, is that obviously all of this depends on. How how bad the bullying actually yeah, was, exactly, and how long it went the extent on for. Of the bullying. Because, um, like obviously school kids are school kids, but I'm not gonna lie. If anyone ever made my pet go missing, but at the same time, like it's a very like. The thing is, I that's just very evil plan. That's like yeah. Evil. That's like if you think about it. Involved. If you think that's about true. it, this person has sat on a plan. So they've been planning this for a long time. So it's back to what Manira was saying yeah, about. It's fine. <laughs> it's back to what Manira was saying about we don't know the extent of the bullying, and for someone to curate this whole like nuclear revenge plan in order to target this bully, the the bullying must have been wild. And I feel like they I'm not really justifying her bullying. I, they, I feel like this person hasn't really touched on oh, how much. To her. Yeah, other than like the cat the poo situation and the, the cat going missing, I feel like there's a lot more because what would cause you to go to the, these depths? Do you know what I mean? In order so to but I also just think like, bloody hell. It's a very intense plan. Very intense. Her job, her family. And the person 
in, in the past. She's probably going to lose her house next. The person in the past was quite an ostracised person from the community. So she was always quite lonely, isolated, didn't have, wasn't very good at social interaction. So, so they probably, probably had a lot of time. Wrong with them they had a lot of time to plan this. They didn't have a social life, clearly. That's very true. Because, like, obviously, if you guys don't know, I went to a very white school and I was bullied. So, I just want to say, address them right now. I just want to say, yeah, first of all, they're trash. <laughs> and they probably haven't got far in life, no. if you know what I mean. But, but obviously, probably wasn't to the extent of what this person's bullying. But, like, I don't know. I feel like holding on to something like that must make it a thousand times worse. Because I can't lie, like, when you, because obviously, I feel like this just goes for anyone. Because a lot of people seem to hold on to things like this but like it's not going to help you in the future no. and when she when she ruins this girl's life what else you what's the do? outcome like, okay yeah. her what's life is ruined you? you're you're gonna be, you're gonna feel you're gonna happy live with this. Moment, momentarily you'll feel happy you're gonna like, live with what's gonna happen this person i won't life. lie to you yeah. like, forever if like if someone did me so dirty i can't lie i probably feel like doing something bad back to them would give me satisfaction yeah. but it's like them on their own like for example yeah. i would stop person, at the job yeah because this person has kids yeah and they're like splitting up a because i can't lie though the husband was probably always a cheater yeah right? once yeah. a cheat always a cheat if he was willing to cheat on her like that it would have happened eventually but like still like there are kids involved so i yeah. feel like it's in a completely different circumstance yeah i agree so what's she gonna do is she gonna break up her house now carry on i need to know okay. i need to know <laughs> A normal person would have stopped then. Unfortunately, I'm not a normal. Clearly. And I was going full scorched earth. Oh. I seethed for 20 years. No way in hell was I going easy on her. <clears throat> Phase three. Okay. With her fiancé gone and no job, Holly was struggling badly. She needed money and she needed it quickly before she and the kids got evicted. Don't tell me she's going to... Is she watching her? How does she know? <laughs> <laughs> Meth is a giant problem in my area. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, uh -uh. this is evil. Can stop? Wait, meth is a giant problem in my area. It's high risk, but it's also fast money. And so I started subtly, subtly mentioning Holly's situation among my more legally questionable family. Eventually, one of my family's friends who happened to be a meth cook got in contact with Holly and offered her a shitload of cash to let him cook dope at her house. <laughs> It was supposed to be a one-time thing, two days and then done forever. Holly was desperate, so she said yes. She everything, got everything went smoothly at first, but dead in the middle of the cook, someone called an anonymous tip about an active cook in progress to the local narcotics unit. It was definitely done. It was her. She's planned this. They rolled up on Holly's house at about 3 a.m. and caught everybody inside, including Holly, red-handed, making mess. Watching her cry and when they handcuffed her and put her in the police cruiser was one of the most gloriously satisfying moments of my life. She was in deep legal doo-doo and to make a bad situation even worse, most houses where labs are discovered aren't deemed habitable afterwards because the toxic fumes from the chemicals used to make the drug get everywhere and it's super hard and time consuming to clean. It's up to the property owner to either hire a hazmat team to clean it or condemn it and tear it down. A lab cleanup cost thousands, thousands of dollars. It would have cost more money to clean it than the entire property was worth. So it got torn down with everything Holly owned still inside. See, you can't take things out of a meth lab because they're going to be covered in toxic residue and it can make you very sick, especially the young children. Everything in the residence is usually counted as a loss. Now, some people sneak in and grab stuff anyway, but whatever, it's their funeral. But since Holly was still sitting in jail, there was no way for her to get anything. And none of her close family were interested in risking getting caught sneaking into the house and being accused of stealing or tampering with a crime scene. Holly ended up in jail for a while. And while she was gone, the court gave their father, ex fiance sole custody of their children. Okay. And Holly was only given supervised visitation two hours every Saturday. For no, because I thought no, that's I thinking, too much. I first was thinking those kids might be like put into her system. Like, no, I know, I was thinking. But at least they're with their dad. Yeah. But still, like, they tell me they're not away now. from them. She's in prison. She's literally ruined so her life. Fucked. Listen. 
Revenge is a dish best served cold and mine was freezing. I was behind every single bad thing that happened in Holly's life in one way or another for an entire five year period. She decided she liked bullying me and making my life hell and she figures there would never be any consequences. Instead, I took her reputation, her job, her fiance, got her arrested and convicted of a felony and her children taken from her and the best part is that she has no clue I did it to this very day. Bloody hell. This person is one <laughs> malicious person. Can we just make like that that Allah mean. never brings these sort of people near oh, us? Sure um, I never encounter Please, this I'm actually really scared. Because you know what? Okay, listen. So, <clears throat> how can I explain it? Because first of all, this bullying, it has to be so intense. Like, it has I wish to have been, told us It has to have been. Like, I wish they added that into the yeah, story. Yeah. Yeah. Then it'd make a bit more sense. Yeah. But, like, I... Is this justifiable? It's though? just how can I explain it? Because it's like I'm not saying that they're right. Wait, wait. I'm not saying that they're right at all. Yeah. But I just feel like the fact that this never would have happened if that girl didn't bully her in the first place. Yeah, no, so yeah. I think this is a massive lesson to people who bully other like, people. Like you just need to be kind. But also, yeah. can I just say, she never forced her to do any of these things. These were things that she was doing. What do you mean? By choice. Like, mm. she was the one smoking weed and taking Xanax. Fine, she told the doctor. Yeah. But it's like, she even if you, like, brought her to court and said, this girl's orchestrated this, she can't get in trouble because these are things that Holly actually like, did. That's very really true. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, the me meth, she could have just... But the meth she made, it was a cho choice out of desperation because she was already in a shit situation. universal credit. Because of this person. But this, uh, I sound, it sounds like American. American. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, but these, this was all kind of done at the hands of this person. So, uh, what's her name? Holly basically, like, agreeing to do the whole meth thing is something that was kind of... Like it was forced. It's she, not, not, it's not, not forced, forced, but out of desperate, like, she forced. But she the forced crumbs were kind it. of dropped by yeah. this person. But that's the choice. That's, I feel like, that's the choice you know she's what, made. I feel like this, no one can happen. This story, like, there's so many parts to it because, like, at the end of the day, the person whose fault, like, there's two people to blame. You can blame Holly for even starting on this because I personally believe, like. Be kind to people. Yeah. You never know, like you genuinely never know what someone's going through yeah. at home in their personal life, even things that their own family doesn't know. So like, be kind, but at the same time, like playground bullying is playground bullying. But and I know, but you know what it is? is I, I retract my statement about around because I make playground bullying sound like it was something trivial. It's not trivial, it's really bad, but it's like no, it's but then when you bad. kind of weigh up the two I, I just, because we don't know the real extent to because don't get how much in my bullying. in my opinion, right? Like bullying. I feel like bullying, like it would piss it me off so I'm much yeah. if my bully just suddenly turned into this oh no be kind type person. Like yeah. I understand there are that. types like that. There are loads of people like that. Like if someone that bullied me just turned into a be kind to everyone type yeah. person. What will have be so pissed off? But there's but, other sides to bullying. Yeah. Like a bully can be going. I'm not justifying bullying, but a bully could be going through shit, and the only way for them to and also yeah. they can change. I think they they can change, change, of course. But the only way for them to express themselves in I'm just talking out of context here yeah. could be to like express hatred to others to make themselves feel, feel better. better. Yeah. So I'm saying whatever this woman's done in her teenage years, it's wrong. No one's justifying. But we bullying. don't know what's going on in her life. But like we don't know. Number one, what's going on in her life? Holly might have been having a sh like. She might be getting abused. Shit might not be working. She might even yeah. be jealous of this girl because she's got a grandma. I know, but it still but doesn't you know justify. But it doesn't justify. This is what I'm trying to say. Like everyone always tries to like. But you can't justify both. But we I can't justify. We what can't this girl's appease doing to her. We can't appease a victim because but she's this one because is a even though well. she wait. Even, let me let's just let's okay. just go with Holly quickly. Let me just start with Holly. Even though Holly could potentially have these like things going on in her life she's still making the choice to go out there and make someone's life true. and we get rubbish. that but, but it doesn't justify like yeah. that i'm not saying her rubbish yeah. situation yeah. doesn't Although, justify the what actions what i'm trying to say is holly what's this girl this girl we don't know her name mm. so let's say there's victim one and victim two because holly's a victim two if yeah. you think about it from yeah. whatever's just happened that's to her, true madness her life has been ruined right? yeah so what I'm saying about Holly is, this girl might not know, Holly's a bitch, what she did was horrible, no one's justifying bullying, bullying is bad in every way, in yeah. this side and this side, mm -hmm. but what I'm saying is this girl has like lamented on 20 years of hatred 
and first of all that's not healthy secondly she might not know what holly was going through holly might go how holly might be going through shit it doesn't justify what holly did to her but she doesn't know it from that side like i wish she I went to holly and said you bitch this is what you did to me this that's is how you made me put and confronted her that would have been the right thing to do but just exactly think, let's just talk about let me just qu quickly so say, does that justify what she's done to holly? hold on but just going back to you saying lamented if they've spent this much time like stuck in the same place let's just think about how finished this person's mental health is you also need to remember they were getting bullied at home. they were getting bullied they were getting bullied in their home, abused in their home isolated bullied from out, isolated from us a bullied outside so like if they're, if they're if they're holding on to this like anger and rage yeah like this is like chronic mental health problems that's what i see it but as. that doesn't justify what she's done to holly it's so, the I'm same saying, either way i'm, say, I'm I mean? saying that we're like, literally saying the same thing i know but I, the, I, for me i just don't feel like this person is fully culpable because i don't think they're right in the head do you know what I mean? No, because no, she's day, got. No, you no, can't say she doesn't have capacity. No, I'm not <laughs> experiencing experiencing isolation, <clears throat> abuse, all of these different things. Can it's ruin your psyche. So much trauma to you, and like <clears throat> ruin you in so many ways. Yeah. So imagine experiencing that from your family alone, and then experiencing it from people at all. Like that's cool. justified, but I'm just saying what she's done to this woman. It's, it's not. It's not, it's not, not it's so either way, we're all saying the same thing. She's not right, and she's not right. Yeah. But the point is, the question but is, do we agree with her revenge? No, no, no absolutely no, no, no. not. But then at the same time, well, yeah. saying that. <laughs> Let me play devil's advocate. <laughs> Let me just play devil's advocate. If this girl never got bullied in the first place, it wouldn't happen. Of course. Yeah. True. True. But again, but we can't change what's ha happened. happened. We just have to think about kind of the present. Moral of the story is just be kind. Yeah. Just be like, nice to people. It doesn't take anything. Because I'm not even joking. Like, when when it comes to bullying and stuff, at the end of the day, like, it sounds bad, but it's going to happen. Kids are actually trash. Horrible. Yeah. Kids are Especially trash. Especially teenagers. Like, teenagers are so miserable. And, like, like, I love, like, for example, even at my school, the people that are being fucking rude to me, bro, they have nothing to worry about virtually if you deep it because they're all up in the middle of the class and down or whatever. You know what it is? Yeah. They're just probably insecure. Yeah. Well, that's, that's not like, that's not, if I'm bullying you because you're insecure, that's not my fault. Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, that's, that's not your fault. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, a lot of people really as well because they're kind of like jealous of like you know like people's general happiness and energy and vibes and how they and also how themselves. and how they make other people feel like yeah. some people get a bit funny about that sort of thing yeah I know what you mean yeah. and you have to think children who bully and I'm just again I'm generalizing there must be something like what's happened in your childhood in your happiness in your family for you to come outside to the outside world I'm and think I'm me. gonna attack you yeah. for the way you look for the way you are for the way but do you know what? there must be something going on yeah exactly. and again it comes to the argument of is there something wrong with a billy all the time i mean some of them are just no assholes. sometimes yeah, people some are just actual cops. yeah, <laughs> yeah some, some of them are assholes. they're literally just pricks but i get what you mean like sometimes there are things wrong with them but at the same time this, it's not your fault like, yeah like it's, it's not got, me like it's got genuinely if you're upset like i'm not capping yet now as a big 19 year old someone's upset with their life and they come at me and start screaming at me i will literally tell them to fuck off yeah, I mean, yeah. I really and you should do you know what i mean but it's like for some reason i feel like with kids everyone's always so like no, like making sure that everything's okay if you know what i mean in terms of like are you bullying someone because things are okay? like nothing's going yeah right a lot of times these like, schools don't do anything no they no, don't there's no cap you know my school did niche i was getting bullied because i'm black and muslim that's it purely it and it's the fact that i can't control that i'm sorry i'm not gonna no, change you. place any second exactly but it's like schools will do nothing but i'm saying like when we're talking about the whole like discussion of bullying people will always have to sit there and be like and the oh, the bully. yeah like what about the bullies mental health at the end of the day i'm sorry if someone's coming up to me starting shit with me i really don't care if your grandma just died yeah. i'm gonna give it right back to you yeah and the thing is that this person obviously couldn't because they were getting bullied at home exactly. they were getting abused they were getting but isolated. can i just say in, in this scenario it's like holly was the original bully but then this person turned into, into the bully. bully so both are bullies and i just think both yeah. of what they did because i mean wrong. Like, if you asked me and said what would you do now if you saw like someone who bullied you at school i literally wouldn't care do you yeah. know what i mean yeah. like and it's like it's the fact that like obviously like no one's ever like 
made my cat run away or like that's horrible do something like that but at the end of the day like bullying it will affect your mental health and the way like and your self esteem yeah exactly and it's like it's, it's happened to the best of us you know what i mean like obviously i don't know because you like went to a diverse school Man, we all, i got bullied once yeah, it was once go. in year eight and i remember you now me year 11 big year 11 a darn boy smelled like sewage but he still had the audacity to bully me and it's the fact that if i saw him now like i literally like wouldn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, I don't I care. Like, like my, my forehead was the subject of bullying for maybe like three years, but it, I don't care because it just makes you like it actually builds you know, character. Yeah, it does. There's like, certain things that build character, and they teach you because you know. Let me tell you guys something. They teach you to give it back. Let me tell you because I'm an only child. Yeah, no one knew hi everyone. I'm an only child. Basically, I knew I never had siblings to be like firing back to. So when I went to high school, everyone was saying mad stuff, and I would be like. Like I get really scared, and then I started hanging around with like more diverse people. Yeah. I started firing back, and then that was it. Like no one believed me ever That's again. Good, yeah. yeah. So it does teach you some like picking. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but like people need to go through adversity in life to learn things. Yeah. To not learn. not, not children. children. I get it. it. Makes you stronger. But I feel like just quickly tapping onto so many era, quickly tapping onto like kids getting bullied in this day and age like i recently saw a video on tiktok or was it on twitter of some like and i'm gonna say little white girl that was like punching a little black girl who was just standing there and her friends were there and it was about and referencing race because she was cussing her out because of her color and then she punched her in her face and then walked away then basically that video went viral it was on like i am bay everything and people were like cussing out the obviously the bully he was punching the girl and then the school put out a statement saying um like we shouldn't be attacking this girl we understand that this is bullying we're dealing with the matter but this girl's now getting bullied like because she's gone viral everyone's cussing her out like how and in my mind i just think again she's young she's a child she's like they're both like 13 years old mm. but the ends doesn't just but this is the, this is the problem with schools bringing out these statements if they were able to deal with the bullying within that institution yeah. it wouldn't have gotten into yeah. like the online and sphere and, and you can't control what online people are saying yeah. about a video do you know what i mean yeah. exactly it's going to just explode and the only and, reason and, and everyone's opinion like everyone's opinions can basically kind of do you know what i mean affect, yeah. affect yeah. it but the only no, reason if I saw that, that video, I'd have the same reaction. Exactly. And yeah, the only reason that the school said anything about that situation is because the little the little black girl, sorry I keep referencing her race, but the little girl that was yeah. getting bullied, yeah. her uncle um, is like social media famous. I think he was on like the only way is Essex, I've got his name. Anyway, he's social media in the UK. Yeah. He's social media fa famous, so then he put he's the one that put out the video to show people. I've tried to like contact the school to try and support my niece who's going through this bullying and they're not doing anything and this is the only way that they the school no, made you a see, reaction. Now the school I'm sorry, but see now that? now the school only have themselves to blame for that exactly. little girl exactly. getting attacked. Because I'm not joking, had they just saw it because how on earth I don't care if you're thirteen, no cap, I'm not joking. If I was a parent, I had some thirteen year old girl Punch was my calling girl. my kid racial slurs and punching her well like i'm coming down to school i'm finishing the parents and that child yeah. how did, no because it's the fact that the, the, parents, the, parents, it's the, fact that the parents are obviously teaching these kids that things like that yeah. Is okay yeah. yeah and it's like it's like if the and school just hadn't kids. dealt with it that's what i hate they're that just kids with. because when do you say internally. when you let kids grow up with this whole oh they're just because no cap all of the people that have ever said anything horrible to me about my race about my size about my looks anything the fact that i used to wear hijab always be justified with it they're just kids no kids wait i'm kids. not having no. a shukri abdi on my hands no, like, no wait, i would go that was, was, that was that was so sad i would go down to that so if i had my kids bully or if i somehow see my kids suddenly withdrawn honestly i'm getting so pissed off because like it's imagine true. your kid coming home and they're suddenly not speaking no, to you because, they're not behaving no, no, the way no, because i'm sorry but the, the, i would go down to that school no because the thing of what happened with shukri abdi was allowed Purely because kids. No, no, no. Actually, because, no, let's because not. Kids no, 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 no. Kids, let's not do kids will be kids because white children. Yeah. Because I'm sorry, the whole reason. Because had it been a bunch of like Somali kids, and bear in mind that Shukri Abri, um, Abdi was an immigrant as well. Yeah. So like, bear. Oh no, But bear in mm -hmm. mind, if a group of like Somali immigrant kids were bullying this white person, because no cap, feel like I'm just saying like as a person who's 
black who's gone to a school that's full of white people no one would ever have anything to say about kids saying things to me boys are straight up saying the n-word to me really? people pulling off my hijab it's how i react that mattered and that's one thing i've noticed and it's still this whole behavior of kids would be kids that's how you raise adults no one can stand exactly. yeah like you can tell when you meet an adult or even when i meet people my age like i'm 19 like we've just become adults when i meet people my age my flatmate um <laughs> You can tell why they're unbearable because yeah. people have raised them with this like sheltered oh you th you can do nothing wrong as a child and I'm sorry but schools enable like when I tell you when you meet and I, like tell me any issue in this world that schools haven't enabled sexism literal mm -hmm. from sexual assault to straight up rape schools have allowed it because apparently it's, boys will be boys if they're putting oh. girls skirts looking at their skirts it's not even, you don't even university all these different things no in uni, uni is, you know so what? you get like the lads or whatever they'll go out sexually abusing yeah. girls in clubs and stuff like that and it will just be like this boys will be bo boys culture no literally it's like so like it's so just allowed yeah. like even at my uni the amount of stories and things i've experienced myself when it comes to like racism sexism just nasty things in general mm -hmm. and it's like you deep even people your own age start to allow it because of this mentality we've all been raised with apparently it's so it's okay because of your demographic if you're a boy boys will be boy if you're a child oh it's okay like kids make mistakes kids do make mistakes but it's about how you right teach them wrong. because i'm sorry if your kid drops the n-word in front of you and you just say nothing they're gonna grow up thinking, okay, that's oh, what's that up my okay. taste? It's just that's like it's okay to say. Like, it's not okay. Like, you no. need to teach kids when they meet. Because the thing is, is that people also seem to think teaching your kids means beating them, slapping them. No, no you can talk teach them. them by just talking to them. Exactly. Like, if you just talk to them in a the car. Because if, obviously, if someone, if I did something wrong and everyone came at me, guns blazing, screaming and shouting, cussing me out, I'm gonna, like, like I'm either gonna be scared, or I'm gonna You're do gonna it again. You're gonna retreat in yourself. I'm gonna do it again to piss you off because exactly. how dare you talk to me like that? But if you come to me and tell me like as a child, this isn't okay. Like we don't do this. Children should not be swearing like this. Children should not be doing this. Is that and educate me? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, your kids are not stupid. They need to be taught. Like you can talk to them like an adult because yeah. babying them is not gonna do anything. No. But like educate them, teach them what's wrong, teach them wrong from right they will grow up to be bearable people but like going back to the original story you can tell who's had some really bad parenting uh, who's not been taught right from wrong at a young age more of a story please speak to your kids teach them bullying is, is, wrong. is wrong be nice Just racism be nice. is wrong sexism is wrong classism is wrong <laughs> Xenophobia is wrong. wrong. It's all wrong. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. As ever, we love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Venera is going to be joining the YouTube family very soon. Inshallah. So, yeah. So subscribe to her channel. I'll watch her TikToks. Oh, yeah. And yeah, she, yeah I'm going to put all the details of her socials down below, inshallah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.